Hello everyone, today is gonna to be epic. I'm gonna be showing you 10 different tricks that you can learn during this crazy period of lockdown. So let's get into it. These 10 tricks are gonna be perfect to learn during these crazy times of lockdown. All you need is a little bit of space. I've used my exercise allowance to come to a field that's close to my house. You could use your garden or out the front or maybe even inside. We're gonna start off number one with the simple back hop. Now you can use any bike for this. You wanna be in a lower gear and we're gonna to have to have good brake control because if you go up onto the back wheel and you can't grab the back brake, you could flip onto your back. So we wanna use our wheelie skills, pull up a bit, and as you can see, I'm just hopping on the back. Now this is super fun, bit of fitness as well. And then if you wanna step things up, you can pedal kick, and that way you can go forward like the trial guys. Now, then you can add it all in, start doing circles, and all sorts of fun stuff like that on the back wheel. Another way you can get up onto the back wheel if you're not so good at wheeling, you can come along, pull the front brake, and then rock back up like that. Now that's how a lot of people do it. I've seen them do it like that. And that way, generally when you start off, you'll end up going backwards. But that's fun too. And it, definitely uses your energy up and is a simple trick to learn that can actually be used in all aspects of riding. So get back hopping, let's move on to number two. Now this one is quite a favourite of mine and can be done absolutely anywhere, inside, outside, there's actually just two places that exist, inside or outside, but anyway you can do it anywhere and it is the foot jam. I've switched onto the jump bike now because it is a lot easier on this kind of bike. And what you want to do is start rolling forwards and you want to lunge your weight forwards whilst hopping slightly and ramming your foot behind the crown on top of the tyre. If you get a zoom in on there, Louis, you'll see where my foot is and it is super fun. Then you can try and do insane balances like this. You can also do foot jams in the skate park and out on street features. If you get real good, you can start doing little circles like that, which is always quite fun. Now, this is also possible on an enduro bike. It's a bit harder, but let me show you. Now, it can be done on an enduro bike without the front brake, the same as the jump bike, like this. And boom, there we go, up into a foot jam. Or, those of you lucky enough to have a front brake, can just pull the brake, put your foot in there, start bouncing. It's a very simple trick, but you're gonna need a bit of commitment to be in that strange position. It's gonna feel weird for the first time. But that is the foot jam. You can use it anywhere, streeting, funning, or inside. See what number three is. We were gonna do something else, but look, for number three, look, there's someone over there playing on a slack line. I'm gonna go and jump over it, and then my mind is gonna show you what number three is. Way! <laughs> the slack line jump! Okay, that's not the trick, but that funny slack line move like this has made me think of the Jesus ride. Straight in then to the Jesus slack line rider. Oh, 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 yeah, oh my God, that is so dangerous, so like in lockdown you probably shouldn't try it, but if you do want to, you need a suspension bike and this sort of zone here is enough to put your feet on, you can then rest your calves against the seat while you're stood up, clamp together a bit, and then slack linely, Jesus-ishly roll down hills anywhere that you desire. Although you might not have a hill in your garden or in your house, but it's still possible. On to the next. 
This is the Running Man Hurdles. For this one, I've got the MTB Hopper backpack ramp, which is perfect for lockdown exercise missions. I'm going to place this here. I'm then going to ghosty my bike, Running Man next to it, hurdles that, hurdles that, and get back on the bike. Easy. Watch this first go. No way! Yeah! That was the running man hurdles! This is the best day ever! On to the next! Moving on to number five, this is the kicker ramp can crush. Whoa, yeah! So fast. We're gonna need a can though. <gasps> Luckiest cracker on here, clock! Okay, <laughs> enough of that. <sighs> I'm gonna put the can here. I'm gonna do it with a bit more difficulty for fun. I'm gonna blindly jump over this bench with the kicker and crush this lovely monster energy can. Oh, the flavors are gonna erupt. Here we go, first go. Clean. Oy! Now, of course, if you don't have a kicker, you could just do a bunny hop to crush a can. You could actually do anything to crush a can. If you're stuck inside properly, you could just jump off your bed or off your dinner table. Maybe don't like discuss with anyone else in your house about it first, but it could be cool. But that was the can crush. Let's see what the next one is. The next one is the foot jam whip. For this, you're gonna need to know how to do the foot jam, which I said about earlier. And then you just do this. What you wanna do is roll forward with a little bit of speed, wedge your foot in the front wheel, kick, and do a tail whip. Simple, that's it. Okay, it's not that simple really. What you'll need to do is jump forward onto the front wheel like a foot jam, but you're also gonna need to push with your back foot off of the bike like that. It's like all in one motion. Then the bike's gonna come round, you spot the pedals and jump back on. Now this definitely isn't gonna happen straight away. I mean, if it does, you're like literally a magician and a magic man, but it is definitely possible in really small spaces. So here it is again in super slow motion so you can see what's happening and maybe you can learn it. As you can see, we're rolling in super slow. Then we're gonna jump up. The front foot of your choice is gonna go into the wheel. The back foot of your choice is gonna kick the frame in the opposite direction. The bike's then gonna spin around really nicely. You can spot those pedals, jump back on, and then ride away. If any of you guys manage to land a foot jam whip, show me, because I'm stoked to see it. On to the next. This is the one-handed manual, super steezy. Basically what you're gonna do is get into a manual sitting down, and you can clamp your knees there on the frame. That's gonna hold you in position, and you'll be able to take your hand off and manual one-handed, like this. That's so fun. The steeper the hill, the more momentum you're gonna have and the easier it will be. Get out there and one hand a manual. Moving on to number eight. This is the flat 360. I'm gonna roll along like that. And 360 on flat. Now this is quite a technical trick, but as you saw, you've got to turn a lot. And as you're turning, you need to hop and spin. You still need to look around as if you're on a jump. This is actually gonna help you if you wanna start trying them on jumps. To get warmed up to it, I'd suggest doing a 180 first, like that. And then you can just slowly get further. Don't be scared to try because if you don't do it enough, nothing's really gonna happen. So remember, get a bit of speed like that turn loads and hop and that's the flat 360 if any of you manage to do that on an enduro bike then you might as well just be a world champion 
On to number nine. This is the fakey. I've shown this a lot before in other videos, but it is super fun, especially if you've got a bit more open space like this. On this bike, I actually have the Freak Coaster, which you may have seen the how-to on a few videos back. That's basically a plastic part here in the cassette, which allows the chain to not move when you're rolling backwards. So here's a fakey, and then I'll show you it without the Freak Coaster. I'm gonna get a little bit of speed up, click into freak mode, hop 180, and just sort of roll backwards, faking my way around. This is actually the best. Probably none of you are gonna have the freak coaster on your bike. So, here it is without it. For this, I've just switched onto the jump bike because it is a standard style of pedaling with no freak. But basically, you're just gonna do the same thing, 180 in, but don't forget, you have to pedal backwards to allow yourself to ride backwards. Very easy and very fun. Get fakey in. Moving on to number 10, this is the finale banger that can be done anywhere that you desire. This is the track stand. This is a ultimate skill that every mountain biker should learn. It's a simple trials move where you're balancing on the bike using both your balancing skills and also your pedals to push the bike when it starts to move. Now you can spice things up a bit by taking off one hand. This is obviously gonna make it a bit harder. If we wanna get ridiculous, you can try and find a good balancing point and we're gonna go no-handed like this. Oh my God, that's really hard. The no-hander one is quite a mission. But we can also step things up with the seat stand version. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe not a seat stand version. I mean, someone might be able to do it. Someone out there has definitely got the skills for that actually. But they are my 10 tricks that you can do anywhere during lockdown or actually anytime. They're all good tricks to know and you should definitely get out there and try them. On that bombshell, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.